Let's understand the vocabulary used in probability. An experiment is a repeatable process that gives rise to a number of outcomes. An example of experiment is, throw a fair die. The outcomes can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. An event is a collection of one or more outcomes. It is labeled by a capital letter. For example, event A is, the die lands on 1. Event B is, the die lands on 1 or 3. A sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. They are put in a pair of curly braces. For the above experiment, the sample space is, curly braces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The probability of an event is the chance the event will occur as a result of an experiment. When outcomes are equally likely, the probability of an event is the number of outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes in the sample space. Probability is always between 0 and 1. We know the chance a fair die lands on any one of the six sides is equal. So, PA is 1 over 6. PB is 2 over 6, which is 1 third. Let's look at another example. Two fair dice are thrown. What's the probability of the sum of the two dice is greater than 7? In order to calculate the sum, we draw a table. The first row and column are all six numbers. We calculate the sum in the content and they are shown in blue. The total number of outcomes is 6 times 6, which is 36. And we can count the number of outcomes when the sum is greater than 7. This is 15. Therefore, the probability of the sum greater than 7 is 15 over 36, which is 5 over 12. For this kind of sum problems, we usually draw out a table and calculate the sum. Then it is easy to count the number of outcomes. We can also calculate probability using combination. For example, three people are selected from four men and five women. What's the probability that there are two men in these three people? The total number of ways of selecting three people out of nine, without any restriction, is 9c3. If two men are selected, then one woman is selected. The number of ways is 4c2 times 5c1. So the probability two men are selected is 4c2 times 5c1 over 9c3. The result is 5 over 14. What's the probability that more men are selected than women? If there are more men than women, then there are two men one woman, or three men. Two men one woman is already calculated above. Three men is 4c3. So the probability is 4c2 times 5c1 plus 4c3 over 9c3. The result is 17 over 42. We can use Venn diagram to calculate probability. A rectangle labeled S represents the sample space. It contains closed curves labeled A and B that represent all outcomes of event A and B. This upside down U symbol between A and B means A and B, or A intersection B. It is the common part between A and B, which means both event A and B occur. The U symbol between A and B means A or B, or A union B. It is the area of both A and B, which means either event A occurs or event B occurs. A dash is called A's complement. It is the area outside A, which means event A doesn't occur. Now let's look at an example of how to solve probability problems with Venn diagram. In a class of 30, 13 students take math. 18 students take chemistry. 8 students take both. We can draw a Venn diagram like this. M means math. C means chemistry. We know 8 take both. So we mark 8 in the common area of M and C. Students taking only math is 13 minus 8, which is 5. We mark 5 in the math only part. Students taking only chemistry is 18 minus 8, which is 10. We mark 10 in the chemistry only part. Students taking neither math nor chemistry is 30 minus 5 minus 10 minus 8, which is 7. We mark 7 outside M and C. All these numbers add up to 30 which is the sample space. What's the probability of a student taking? 
both math and chemistry. It's the common area of M and C. So probability of M and C is 8 over 30. Maths or chemistry. It's both M and C that is 5 plus 8 plus 10, which is 23. So probability of M or C is 23 over 30. Neither maths nor chemistry. It's the area outside M and C. So the probability is 7 over 30. Only maths. This is 5 over 30. In this class, we learned the vocabulary used in probability. Calculate probability of throwing two dice. Calculate probability with combination. And calculate probability with Venn diagram.